But at the start of this year, I really believe that the economy has turned a corner and we're heading in the right direction. The UK economy is in recession. The UK has officially entered a recession. The UK economy officially entered technical recession. The UK economy did enter recession towards the end of last year. Two countries slipped into a recession, Japan and the United Kingdom. Both are major economies and both are shrinking. Welcome back to another video, friends. And as you probably know by now, we are in a recession. Now, although many of you may have felt we have been in a recession for some time now, it's the official announcement we've heard on the 15th that the UK has now joined Japan and is currently in a recession. And in my opinion, many other countries will soon follow suit. However, if you're a subscriber of this channel, you would have seen that Rishi Sunak's video on the 14th, Valentine's Day, may have had some of you thinking differently where he stated he absolutely believes the economy has turned a corner and we're now pointing in the right direction. Again, my sentiment and feelings towards anything that comes out of this guy's mouth will remain sidelined for the purposes of this video because I want to look at what it means for us and I want to look forward and dive into some news and reports about the UK, a little bit about Japan and a potential USA recession and what exactly we can do moving forward. So despite already being downplayed as a mild and short-lived recession, as reports from Sky have stated, we can't ignore the writing has been on the wall for some time now. A recession typically is defined by two consecutive three-month periods where the economy contracts rather than grows. And a major measure of economic growth known as gross domestic product, aka GDP, shrank 0.3% between October and December. And the UK has shown two consecutive quarters of negative growth. Now anyone who takes the words of those in charge with a pinch of salt and watches how the world is actually playing out could have seen this comment a mile off. However, if we go back to the data, we can see that the economy in the UK has struggled to grow. And although it's now been said that it shouldn't be like the 2008-2009 crash and it will be a more mild and short-lived one, personally, I still err on the side of caution. Now, the economy itself has also struggled with productivity, particularly emerging from the pandemic. The number of long-term sick and people who aren't working or seeking work has also hit all-time highs and this happened as the virus obviously receded and lockdowns disappeared. We've also seen numerous strikes which have held back productivity as private and public sector workers across industries staged many walkouts throughout 2023. And then to add to that we've had inflation which has been a huge barrier for growth, something the Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has mentioned. And as a result of this, the Bank of England has obviously prioritised tackling inflation. And I guess low growth was always expected as a result of this. Higher interest rates, generally speaking, tend to lead to more people saving and spending less. But in regards to Rishi's statement about the UK turning a corner, some people do believe that the next few years may see wages rising faster than prices, mortgage rates coming down and unemployment figures staying low too. Will this happen? Well, we will see. Let's watch this space. But it's been 14 years of the Tories in charge and Britain's people are the ones, in my opinion, who are now picking up the tab for all their errors. And I'll say it, I'll say it how it is. A lot of it is down to dodgy money antics that they have done. Money for vaccines, wars and printing at the drop of a dime were all going to backfire for the public and line the pockets of those who keep their money offshore in tax havens. However, I digress. One thing I will add is that the UK is not alone. Japan, another powerhouse country, has also tumbled a few days earlier, in fact, into the official recession books. And as a result of this, it loses its crown as the world's third largest economy. It has fallen just below Germany, and this has been attributed to a weak yen and the country's aging and shrinking population. Now the yen itself has fallen 6.6% against the US dollar since the start of this year, making it one of the worst performers of currencies used by the group of 10 industrialized nations. But as with the UK, they remain optimistic and state they expect GDP to rebound in 2024. Now one prediction, or should I say inevitability at this stage, is that the USA will follow too. This is just my personal opinion, which I've shared over on X here. But I think if we were just to look at the stock market for a second, the SPX is going crazy and I do predict a blow off top there. I think there's a possibility of money printing coming into play with China and USA. And I also think that risk assets will grow, which is probably why you saw quite a few crypto videos from me last week. However, that's my short term thesis. And then I truly believe we will see a huge recession and one that will be remembered for many years. And friends, I would love to be so wrong on that. The fact that those who got us into this mess will never be disturbed or affected how we are irks me so badly. And it's always the normal people like you and I sitting here will have to pick up the pieces and suffer. 
So let's for argument's sake hope it's a mild and shorter one. And for once, just this once, Rishi Sunak is right. Now friends, I've shared many videos on things I would personally do at the time of recording and also have done leading up to the official announcement of a recession. Opportunities can actually arise. In fact, the biggest opportunities and transfer of wealth can take place in recessions if you know what you're doing. And my goal moving forward on this channel is to share what I am learning and seeing for you all to hopefully make amazing moves and benefit yourselves in, let's be honest, what now seems very anxious times. Let me know your thoughts, friends, and thank you for watching.